New insights or old wounds, fans are divided over Depp vs. Heard, a Netflix tell-all documentary. The trial of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard grips the globe, and it is now making a reappearance on Netflix. Depp v. Heard, a three-part documentary series, will investigate Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's infamous lawsuit. But don't anticipate a rerun of gossip and hearsay, Netflix offers a new, unbiased viewpoint. The story began in 2018 when Amber Heard penned an opus ed about her experiences of facing sexual abuse, which caught the attention of Johnny Depp and his legal team. What followed was a legal battle that divided fans and the public alike. Now, two years later, Netflix aims to shed new light on the trial that was the talk of the town. The streaming service states its intentions are not to add to the drama, but rather to give an unbiased view of the trial. While most of the country has already witnessed the courtroom drama, Depp v. Heard tries to provide a new perspective on the events surrounding the case. Fans on both sides, however, are wary, fearing that the documentary may reopen old wounds for the celebrities involved. What did fans think of the Depp v. Heard teaser? Fans are still divided a month after Netflix's announcement. Fans of Johnny Depp turn to social media to express their undying support, with sentiments such as we stand with Johnny Depp. Fans of Amber Heard, on the other hand, mobilize to defend their favorite celebrity, demanding the truth. Some fans question Netflix's eagerness to jump on this sensitive topic, accusing the platform of cashing in on a controversial trial. Others express frustration, wondering if they really need to relive the trial all over again. While Amber Heard is said to have fled to Spain and Johnny Depp is said to be living peacefully in London, the court of public opinion keeps the trial alive. Netflix's Depp vs. Heard is expected to revive the contentious issue, leaving fans braced for yet another round of passionate debate. The documentary is set to be released on August 16, and it's evident that everyone's eyes will be glued to their screens once more.